If you're a content creator that focuses on video and you're filming anything outdoors, one of the things you will absolutely want to make sure you have are good quality ND filters, neutral density filters, and I think the best value that I found are these. So these are the Hoya Solus uh, IRDN filters. Uh, now what's really, really cool about these, so they are going to be available in different sizes. You can see I have four different ones here. Um, I have two 55 millimeter filters. I have a 67 and a 72. Um, the 67 right now is being used not on this one, but I think on a different uh, camera right at the moment. So there's going to be really two questions that you're looking for. Number one is why do you need an ND filter? And number two, well, why specifically these filters? So number one is why do you need an ND filter? ND filters are basically like sunglasses for your camera. Um, if you want to maintain uh, your desired shutter speed or uh, your, well, your desired frame rate, you want to maintain your desired uh, shutter angle or um, shutter speed um, and you want to maintain the ISO quality at a certain point especially let's say on a dual ISO native cameras then you will want to make sure that you do have ND filters uh, and that's basically going to be a fourth way of controlling the exposure triangle by cutting out a lot of the light and that's going to be something that's typically going to be needed when you're filming in the studio environment with various lights uh, or you're filming outdoors where there is a ton of light. The thing that you're going to notice is that let's say for example you're going outside and shooting in 60 frames per second or even 30 frames per second and you want to maintain let's say a 180 degree reciprocal angle that means at 30 frames per second you need to be at 160 of shutter angle or on a Panasonic S5 camera you can just put 180 degrees. Uh, one of the things that you're going to find is that it's going to be way too much light coming in and the image is going to be 100% overexposed. Um, so the way that the camera would control it if you have it in auto is increase the shutter speed. Um, however, what that's going to mean is that the, you're going to be losing that cinematic type of effect and it's going to be too jarring. Um, it's not going to be smooth motion on there. So that's what you would use the ND filter. It would cut the amount of light coming in. Um, so with ND filters, the one thing uh, and the reason why I go with the Hoya Solus filters in particular is that um, Hoya with a lot of the filters, um, keep in mind it's almost like sunglasses. Um, they come in a variety of different glass quality and sometimes an ND filter is going to have like a very horrible hue. It might uh, change your image to be green or blue. Um, it's very, very tough to go find a cheap filter that is going to actually maintain neutral um, density. Uh, the Hoya Solus filters in particular, and that actually if you want me a little bit more on the budget, the Hoya HMCs are one of the only filters that are going to be able to maintain a true picture uh, without breaking the bank and costing hundreds of dollars. Uh, now, in particular, the Solus, they are the higher quality uh, tier of ND filters with, um, with Hoya. Uh, and that's, what's going to separate them apart is going to be two things. Number one is going to be the construction. So this is definitely a much nicer constructed filter. Uh, you do have it almost like it doesn't it's not necessarily brass but it is a higher quality steel that you're going to be able to or aluminum that you're going to be able to screw on you do have more to grip on onto uh, number two is that you do have a very neutral um, tint um, it is not, I generally when I use these I do not have to color correct for an ND filter when I'm creating the image. Um, the other thing particularly with the Hoya Solus filter is that it does have um, protections for infrared filter. So IRDN, infrared neutral density, reduces the amount of light entering uh, exposure time. Um, so a premium line of optical glass filters with added benefit of IR reduction. Um, so the filter dramatically reduces digital artifacts and color shifts associated with IR contamination often seen when using standard ND filters. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much that really is going to have an effect. It definitely will have an effect on digital SLRs and mirrorless and digital SLRs. However, with mirrorless cameras, I'm not sure that IR actually does more. However, uh, the image quality, so I have, I use two 67 millimeter filters. I have one Hoya Solus and I have one 
cheaper Hoi HMC, and there's definitely a quality, there's a difference in quality between the glass, and that's why I recommend these. Uh, now, the other thing with all of these filters is that they are not variable NDs. These are fixed ND filters, which I definitely do prefer myself. Um, so they are gonna be available and the way that you buy them is based on the number of stops of light reduction. So I have once again, a variety of them here. So for my, uh, for my APS-C cameras, I generally use a three stop, which is a 0.9 and a six stop, which is a 1.8. So for indoor use sometimes, or when it's a very cloudy day outdoors, I would use the three stop filter. And then when it's a really sunny day, I generally use a stick six stop filter on those lenses, which are gener which are going to go down to like 1.4 or f 1.8. Um, for my larger filters, and actually for the uh, Panasonic that I purchased right now, I picked up a five stop filter, which is a 1.5, because that lens on there that I bought this for is only an f 2.8. So it already cuts down a stop uh, versus the six stop that I usually get and the 67 millimeters for the f1.8 lenses. Um, so it's good to have a variety of them as well. Uh, the reason why I like uh, a, a single ND filter, fixed ND filter versus variable ND filters is that generally these are gonna be easier to construct and you only have one layer of glass versus two. Um, and you're not accidentally gonna turn it or anything else like that. Is it as convenient? No. Um, however, the good news is when you're filming outdoors, the conditions generally don't change that quick. And by having everything, you can always bump up the ISO uh, or bump it down if you need to. Um, so if you're looking for a very high quality um, ND filter that's gonna remain neutral without having to have uh, strong color correction on there. I definitely recommend the Hoya Solus IRDN filters.